Linda Dykes, lovely to talk to you. Um, I'm going to start this with a question. Uh, I'm pretty confident you're going to get the answer to this quiz. It's the 24th of January. What happens in exactly two months' time? The World Cup qualifier. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Three points. Uh, how excited are you about that looming up on the horizon? Yeah, very excited. Um, you know, I love going away with Scotland and it's another big game for us. And um, hopefully we can make them memorable once again. I was just refreshing my memory uh, this morning because it's been a while since Scotland played. And of course, you were suspended from Moldova and you were injured for the Denmark game. So it means you have scored in your last four Scotland games. So that record breaking is still on, isn't it? In that Ukraine game, you could make it five and five. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I was gutted to miss those last two games, try to get back as best I could with the injury, but just couldn't quite do it. And then, um, yeah, so hopefully these games, you know, I can keep that goal scoring form going. And, uh, you know, it'd be a nice place to do it as well with the two games because how big they are. I've got that down in a script. I think that I think it's written in the stars that you break Colin Steen's record five five and five for Scotland, and then we're on to the the playoff final. That sounds good, doesn't it? it sounds lovely. I'll take the six and six then. <laughs> six and six. Yeah. I mean, the the goal scoring has been incredible, hasn't it? Um, and and actually, the the your four and four, three of them were one nils. It was becoming a bit of a habit that Scotland winning one nil and London Dykes getting the goal. Yeah, it was it was really good. Um, you know, we built that winning mentality at Scotland and um, those games, you know, that they were tough and we were kind of scraping through. But like you said, those one nils um, and myself scoring, just getting us over the bar, just uh, was really good for the whole team and it kept carry on, carrying on our uh, momentum. I take it John McGinn is not slow to remind you that you're still five goals behind him. <laughs> he's always saying about uh, me catching him so you know I've got a few to catch him and, and uh, we'll see what happens but obviously John you know he's, he's, he's great character and he's great for the squad and he scores some important goals as well Do you look at those records do you look further down the line and, and think what you might be able to achieve I mean obviously five and five is very much on in, in, in two months time That 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 is a possibility do you look beyond that because I remember um, when you first took your Scotland bow, you did your first media conference. Uh, I think you surprised a lot of people because we tend to be a bit maybe negative at times and defensive in Scotland. Your 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 Australian sometimes come out comes out and you and you immediately said, I can't remember your wording, but you said, I want to be a star for Scotland. I intend to really make a name for myself here. Um, do, do you remember that? And 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 are you still equally confident and ambitious? Yeah, of course. Um... It's not always looking at these records to break, but obviously when you do get close or you do, you know, do amazing things with them, it's it's nice to see obviously what's been what's been uh, done. But you know, I'm always been positive when I've done the international scene. I wanted to make it a, a really part big part of my career and wanted to be you know known as you know one of the Scotland greats or be known for for the rest of my my life as well. So. I just came in and just came with a fresh face and done as good good as I can. And, um, you know, so far it's been so good. So hopefully we can keep that run going and hopefully I can keep banging some goals in and helping the team and the managers uh, to what he needs. Yeah, six goals in 20 games is great so far. Uh, do you feel your game has developed uh, since you've been at Queen's Park Rangers? 12 goals, I think it was, for them last season. I think you're on seven club goals so far this season. Um, how's your game improving what you're learning I'm always learning just um, every day on the job you know the championships a mental league um, but like you said last season was my first season the champ and I finished top goal scorer and this season I'm, I'm top goal scorer at the moment um, so I've just it's good to just I, I had a little injury there with my ankle but it's good to get back and there uh, you know I need, I need a little run of games and hopefully get back on the score sheet and then and, um, keep that going with the team and um, I'm feeling really good and, and then when I go away with Scotland I'm feeling even better because um, I love playing there and hopefully the goals goals keep coming there as well and I'm sure they will. There are rumours of, of you going to the Premier League um, we're obviously in the middle of the transfer window but I mean it looks at the moment as if there's a fair chance you could go to the Premier League with QPR because that win at Coventry I don't think Mark Warburton was too impressed with the performance but he was certainly impressed with the result 
and you're and you're now two points off second place, and of course, second place in the championship is automatic promotion. Yeah, um, I think we definitely haven't been playing our best in the last few games, but we've got that winning mentality at the moment, and that's that's going to put you right up there because when you don't play your best, um, you, you're not really getting much, many chances or anything, and we've been very clinical and we get winning the games at the end of the day. Um, you know that that's something that you need to be going up. So that's something in our eyes, but there's still a, lot, a long way to go. I think there's about 20 games um, left in the season and uh, anything can happen in those 20 games. So we have to just keep focused on the next game and keep focused and uh, see what happens. And, you know, that would be amazing if we could go up. Um, I think it would be, you know, that's somewhere where everyone wants to play. I want to play in the Premier League. So if we can do that, it would be amazing. We spoke on the Go Radio Football Show to your uh, now teammate, um, both at club and international level, David Marshall. Um, he's come in um, two wins out of two for him. He'll be he'll be talking about his one hundred percent record. I'm sure. Are you? Are you do you think uh, he can get himself back in the Scotland squad, London for for March? Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, obviously, he was that derby was a little hiccup in 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 when he wasn't playing or whatever happened there. So now he's here, he's done really well, he's come in. You know, we won the last two games with him, he's looking solid. He brings a lot of experience to the to the team. Um, you know, he's a great lad and everyone knows how good he is. Everyone's seen in the performances that he's gave in his career. Um, so I'm sure if, um, hopefully he keeps on doing well and I don't see why not he, that Steve Clark might not um, look at him for the future. How would you describe the mood in the camp? I mean, it, it seems I mean, maybe that goal of yours in Vienna signalled a, a, a turning point for Scotland. That that was the big result, I guess, we've been looking for. It's been very confident and optimistic since then. Um, we're looking forward to the playoffs, hoping that Qatar and the World Cup is, is on. How would you describe what it means to be part of that Scotland squad at the moment, part of that Scotland team as well? I think we've built a really strong connection between everyone um it's like a family you know everyone loves coming away a lot of the boys myself included you know you're looking forward to go away to get back seeing everyone to get back involved you know back with doing the training and back with those games because um it's been really good and uh obviously playing in Hamden, you can see the the spirit of all everyone supporting us and that you know it's, it's been really 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 good for everyone and then um, I think it's just it's just built. Obviously, since when I've come in, it's just built stronger and stronger. And uh, obviously, you know, getting to the Euros, it, it makes us all closer together. Um, and I think any one of us would run for a brick wall for 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 another. So that's the mentality that we have, and um, that's showing on the pitch. So it's something that we can keep building on, and you know, we can keep creating history. Really good to talk to you, London. Uh, keep on doing your stuff for QPR and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you stay, stay clear of injuries and look forward to seeing you at Hamden in a couple of months time and hopefully it could be five out of five for you thank you very much um, yeah hopefully hopefully that I'll be praying for that <laughs> good man all the best good talking cheers, to you mate. cheers thank you Bye.